So today, uh, as you can see, we're going to be talking about team communication, uh, some tools that they're uh, present in digital project that allow for team collaboration and communication. Uh, like every session, uh, I'd like to get you started by um, starting up digital project. So uh, just locate the digital project icon uh, on your desktop and um, double click, get that started. It may take a few minutes to get up and running. All right, so like I said before, we're going to be talking about team communication and digital project. Uh, as, as, uh, as I've presented in the past a uh, few times, this is basically these, these first eight that we're, that we're doing, that we're offering, are just a starting point. Um, we're, it's basically a classroom format, so I'm doing live demonstrations of everything. Um, the, uh, we're going to be continuing this series. Um, I've actually been, I like to point out that everyone is, who's been attending these webinars has been providing really solid suggestions for further topics. So we'll be taking all your feedback into consideration when planning the further webinars coming up after the winter holidays. So goals for this webinar, we're going to be creating um, quick 3D section views of the model. Uh, sometimes, many times when you have a large scale model, it's really hard to get inside the interior of the model. Um, aside from hiding different parts of the model, which you know, if you if you can sometimes lose track of what you've hidden, what you've not hidden, um, it starts to become a little messy. So this is a much quicker tool to be able to access uh, different parts of the model, view them, um, and then of course going on to annotating the model, so we can communicate with our team members uh, what what kind of changes we want to see occurring in the model, what kind of problems or clashes or conflicts that may be occurring that we can visually see. Uh, then we're going to talk about transferring those annotations and how, um, how we share uh, these, these uh, various markups with our team members. Um, it's a very easy uh, process. And, and then we're going to talk about capturing views um, so that what we see on our screen we can capture and then pass off to, um, to whoever is handling that portion of, of, the, uh, of the billing information model. Um, and then we're, at the very end, we're going to touch on um, the, the basic uh, structure of how we serve a model, how we, how we have a model um, on a server and how we work with it um, uh, in terms of sharing it within a whole team that may be located in different parts of the world. So um, you're welcome to ask questions. Uh, I'll try and, and, and get to them. If, if, um, if I can, I'll try and answer them after the webinar session. Uh, and if you want to submit any questions afterwards, please just submit them to knowledge at gtglobal.com. So you can always submit there, and uh, I'll try and get right back to you on any questions you have concerning the webinars. So um, you should have Digital Project up and started. Um, I definitely suggest get it get it started if you if you don't. Um, the tools we're going to go over today are very easy to to work with, and I think you'd like to. I think it'd be helpful for you to to try them out on your own while I'm going through this. Um, so we're we're going actually going to be using the uh, the annotations product that we created before. Um, for those of you that may not have attended, um, starting with the fourth session when we uh, dealt with uh, extracting information from the digital model, um, we want to uh, basically, um, if you don't have that already created, then I just want to go through really quickly the steps um, that are involved with creating that product. So um, just to review, I, w I went up to File New and created a new product. So I'll go down to Product, 
click OK. And I called this my annotations underscore Nuri, my name. And then I made sure to have the product pre-selected. And I go over to the selection over here on the right, existing component. You should see a little, looks like a little uh, folded page with a arrow coming out of it. So this allows us um, to pick the, the project product, which in this case is called mar.cat product. Um, and this could exist anywhere. It could exist on a server somewhere, right? But the product we just created, my annotations, is something we'll save locally. Um, this way, any, any annotations or, or notes that we make uh, will be saved locally and outside of the, the project model. So I'm just going to select the mar.cat product, click open. Now the first time you do this, if you've been doing this for the first time, um, it may have to, like you saw down here, it may have to process the model um, and generate the uh, CGR, uh, the, the visualization version of the model. Um, but basically, that's what you should see. Um, and this is mainly for anyone that may not have attended the, uh, the fourth session. So just to, just to uh, point out, um, this product that we created originally, uh, this My Annotations product, um, is, again, separated from the project. So we're not, any, th any notes that we make are not going to affect the, the project model. Um, this kind of touches on team collaboration communication because you don't want to have someone who's just making notes to the model to be affecting the uh, the the same space that the um, the BIM modelers are dealing with. So this kind of keeps that separate. Um, but again, as we get we go forward, we'll see that you can you can then communicate your changes to your team members. So I'm going to go ahead. Um, and you can go ahead, if, if you don't have this, you can go ahead and save, and save that to your, to your, uh, to your computer. I'm going to close, uh, because I already have a product from previously called my annotations underscore Murray. And I'm going to open that up, since I already have one from before. All right, so... Um, and you can see we have some of the work that we did in the previous uh, webinar. That, and if you want to review that, that was in the uh, that was in the extracting information from the digital project model, which was the fourth webinar. You can look at it on our website, view to view the YouTube video. And the um, the annotations and and objects we're making today are, are going to be saved underneath this applications portion of the tree. So first thing is we want to create a dynamic section of the, uh, of the model to be able to view some of the internal spaces of the model. So you should see uh, a toolbar over on the left here. Um, you should, you should uh, if, I, if I pull this out just so you can see, what it's called. It's called spatial analysis. Okay? And then in the middle of that, there should be a sectioning tool. Go ahead and click that. And the first thing you should see is the, the window uh, resizes. And here's a little preview window. We'll, we'll, we'll get into that a in a little bit. The main thing is I'm going to expand that window. So this is our cutting plane. This allows us to, um, to, to cut different portions of the model and understand uh, locally what's going on inside the model. Um, you'll notice when I, ha when I mouse over the plane, I see an arrow that's pointing normal or perpendicular to the plane. And as soon as I see that, I can click and, and move that plane. And you'll see that the cut through the model updates, 